Hello everyone. So in last video we have made login API. So today we are going to make login component in our Angular and call that service from here. So I have made login components, uh, HTML, PS file, and I have also made a service file. So let's quickly make our form. So we can take the same form and modify it. Let's call it login. Here we will call the function login check. The name will be username. Password. Password type will be password. And your feed up. And we don't need this. So we don't submit value will be login. So let's check our form. And we will we have done the routing for this component. So at the root we are calling this. This component we have routed it to the root. Property form does not exist. Okay. So we will have to make in our login dot components we'll have to make form group. So that also will take on name. So this form group we can take. Import the form group. Import form control. And our function also will call. Here we will see what we are getting the form values for now. This dot form dot f. With username. Okay. We have to make changes here. Username. It will be PWD. And this we don't need. Done. Admin. This is the correct password. Admin and at the rate one two three that we have given in our backend Node.js. Okay. So let's make a company service. For service, we have made a post service. So same as user so user post, we can write our login also. Post login is the service that we'll be making. Yeah. Import your HTTP. We don't have this. And our URL is login. And let's call our service. This dot service dot our service name not post user we'll say post login. And we'll pass this dot form dot value. Import the service private service and ours is login service. That's right. 
response. We'll give the response type any so that it will take both the boolean values and whatever we are getting from the response. So for now, we'll just see what response we are getting. Admin, if I type in wrong password, then it is giving me status false message wrong credentials. And if the credentials are correct, at the rate one, two, three. Then password. Okay. You should get the correct response. So whenever I give correct response, I'm getting status and my token. So now whenever I get correct response, I will store the value and whenever it is the wrong response, I will throw the error. So whenever status response dot status is equal to equal to false. then show the alert in alert we will show response dot message and return false if not store it in a local storage local storage dot set item which takes two parameter first is your key so I'll give key name JWT token and second is your value of the key so my value is coming in response dot token Let's check this. Admin one two three. Say wrong credential. And whenever I give correct credentials, see here in JWT token, I have got my token value. So this is how you can store your token value in your local storage.